Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. We are in week three of Cobra Convergence. I asked you to join the Convergence. This video features some of the Cobra creations created by you this week. I want everyone to join Cobra Convergence 6. It is a fan event focused on G.I. Joe's enemy, Cobra, for the entire month of July. Make sure you go to hcc788.com to participate so I can share what you do. Now let's see the new Cobra creation this week. G.I. Joe was no stranger to board games by 1985 when Commando Attack was released. The old G.I. Joe line had games from the 60s. A real American hero recognized the need for more structured play. Two games were released with the initial line in 1982. G.I. Joe, a real American hero adventure board game, and G.I. Joe Cobra Battle. I was far too young for these games, but by the time of Commando Attack, I was still a little too young. Emphasis on Cobra. Let's get started. Big news going on right now in the world of G.I. Joe is HasLab has done the G.I. Joe classified vehicle, the Cobra Hiss. And earlier today, it was announced the fourth stretch goal tier for backers on this. And to begin with, this has been a hugely successful HasLab. I think it caught even the team at Hasbro sleeping just because they haven't been rolling out the stretch goal tiers as fast as the tiers have been funding. We start off with a... He's cool. Great figure. And in the early 1990s, if you're like obsessed with action movies like Cliffhanger and things like that, this guy was a real go-to dude and yeah you just set every mission in the snow when you're at playtime but that's a story for another day the story for today of course is that we've got so steppens file card now i do believe there was so i decided for civil convergence i was going to talk about somebody that maybe somebody else wouldn't talk about or at least not this version so this is Serpentor version 3 from the Comet Packs in 2005. Now Serpentor has got a pretty striking figure. Uh, the only part is, is that the 1986 version it was made with fragile gold plastic, which breaks pretty much as soon as you look at it. So Hasbro did a smart thing and they re-released the figure in a green plastic, which does not break as nearly as much as the gold. These 2005 figures are somewhat notorious for being fragile sometimes, but, I mean, this guy survived a photo shoot with me, so I th I'd say he's all right. But anyway, I just love Serpentor a lot. He is probably the only competent leader that Cobra has. Hello, everybody. Sparkster1701 here. And we are now into our third week of Cobra Convergence 6. And now we're going to take to the skies with some LEGO models. We have here a couple of minor vehicles in Cobra's Air Force. We have right here the Claw and the Fang. Thanks to everyone who participated in this video. Check the description of this video for links to their work. Go to hcc788.com to find out how you can join and be featured in a video like this. I'll see you next week for the final week of Cobra Convergence 6. Until then, remember only Cobra is Cobra!